Um, the Bengals in a great situation there. Uh, you mentioned Joe Burrow, uh, an Ohio kid that, you know, we got to see uh, at Athens High School. Uh, boy, it's, it's been fun to see uh, the way he's developed and, and really how put in the situation that he was, he took full advantage of it with his play this year. Oh, absolutely. And numbers speak for itself. I mean, the way he went out and had that type of season for LSU, I mean, like you mentioned, we covered him. I covered him when I was working over at Spectrum Sports and getting a chance to watch him in high school blossom into a Heisman Trophy winner. It, it was really, really fun to see this season in, and it's caught the eye of everyone. I mean, he's being talked about as the number one pick for a reason. Um, the Bengals doing their due diligence. They've uh, mentioned him multiple times down here this week that they don't blame him for wanting to stay at home and get that extra little rest in before he really starts preparing for the combine and um, the other meetings and everything else that's going to go along with um, along the way the next couple of months before we that for a uh, first round rolls around in April. And yeah, the other thing um, that uh, is nice is uh, another guy that's opened eyes for the Bengals uh, has to be Chase Chase Young. I mean the the Buckeye. Um, it's Nice situation. You've got a dominant offense player and a dominant defense player sitting up at the, the top of that draft board. Oh, it absolutely is. For the Bengals, you never want to be in the position where you go 2-14, and 14, but it does have its benefits this time of year when you have your choice of who you want to take with that number one overall pick. Now, the Bengals have said that the, the phone is always open, so they won't rule out the possibility of a team wanting to come up and trade for that position. I have to imagine it would take quite a lot uh, for the Bengals to move down out of that number one pick, but, I mean, Ohio State speaks for itself with the defensive linemen that have come out of there recently when you talk about uh, the Bosa family, um, and now you have Chase Young that's going to be coming out, and it's it could make for a difficult decision, but when you look at the Bengals' needs, I think you have to start with the quarterback position um, and kind of go from there.